This is the uh, ICOM ICA20 airband transceiver. I have it scanning a couple of channels here in, uh, in the area. The uh, radio has 16 memories. I programmed about 8 of them. Radio is in excellent condition. It uh, looks like it has never been used. I have it running uh, on my ham antenna right now, which is obviously not proper frequency, but it works. This is the standard uh, rubber duck antenna. It's in the center of the band. I have a, uh, a battery case that allows you to put your own batteries in there. Um, double A's I think it is. I have a, a similar one here to show you that. There is an internal charge circuit. You can also charge it from the standard ICOM chargers. I got some batteries in this one. But uh, the radio has the same case, but I did not put any batteries in there. It runs from the uh, from an external power supply right now, 13.8 volt. It has a jack for that. Radio has uh, has high power, low power. There is an A and L that can be turned off. Squelts, obviously. We have a push to talk. This is to uh, turn on and off the backlight. And this is the function key, which allows you to program special functions explained in the manual. Radio uh, covers uh, uh, one, uh, 108 to 135.975. So that's both the NAF and the COM band. It is capable of uh, of uh, locating VOR function, I think they call it. As you can see here, it's uh, five watts high power PEP and low power is 1.6 watts PEP. Radio is amplitude modulated, like every radio in this band. AM is what is used for the uh, civilian aircraft band, which is what this is. I can show you the uh, function. For that we'll stop the, f the scanning. Mm. Okay. We will go to a uh, frequency that is not in use. Uh, to Zero. Hang on for a second, clear. We'll go to uh, regular VFO and we go to 212550. Uh, enter. This is where we are now. Uh, we'll switch over to the uh, dummy load to not uh, cause any interference. This is my VSWR meter. This is uh, low power. And this is the high power setting. In order to uh, demonstrate you that, I'll uh, we'll use a second VHF radio and uh, tune that to the same frequency. Should have picked a lower frequency. This one does not allow direct frequency entry, which uh, makes this a little bit of a uh, time consuming effort. 
Okay. 125.5 we have for both radios. If I transmit on a on our demo radio. One two three one two three. One two three four five. One two three four five test. One two three four five test. That seems to work. Then we go to our uh, demo radio for the receiver test. Crank up the volume a little bit. One two three four five. One two three four five. Receiver test for the ICA twenty. One two three four five. That seems to work too. Okay, let's go back to the external antenna and see if we still have some traffic. Oops, that is uh, the Vivo scan. We don't want that. We want memory scan. There we go, memory scan. Not too much going on. So this would be the charger input. If you put rechargeable yeah, batteries. Uh, if you put rechargeable batteries in there, you can charge them here at the back. Triple five twelve. Looks like we need about five or ten degrees to the right to avoid an overhang. He's pretty strong. Or, like I'm doing right now, you use it uh, uh, on the top to directly connect it to a power supply. The ICOM ICA20, a uh, VHF, VHF NAVCOM radio. Excellent condition. Works perfect. One of the nicest ones that I can made. I actually like this model much more than the one that came out. The one that came out later. I don't like that one much. Thank you for watching this video.